organise these sort of fashion haul videos is for me to actually do it at the end of the month, like after I've purchased everything throughout the month and then be able to show you, you know, this is what I got this month. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Quickly first I want to do a bit of an outfit of the day for you because I've just got in from um, the show The Doll's House at um, the Birmingham Bull Ring which I won tickets for uh, through Browse Bull Ring which is the Bull Ring's website. Um, it was a really good fashion show. Um, the models were just beautiful and the outfits were all, this, all um, made up of pieces which you can purchase in the Bull Ring. So it was really useful in terms of seeing the trends that are out there right now and actually translating them onto your own into your own wardrobe. You know, um, it's it's all right looking at say different catwalk shows from Fashion Week a few months ago, but then to be thinking, well, oh, you know, how can I do that on a high street budget? Whereas with this, it actually was a high street fashion show. So um, with a few high end pieces, but that's okay. Um, yes, yeah, so I had a really good time and afterwards uh, we were allowed into the VIP area where there was like an assortment of beauty treatments, goodie bag, we got a goodie bag which I was very happy with, um, and there was like free cupcakes and free vitamin water, there were some photographs taken for um, Heart Radio Station which will be on their website, so as soon as I've got them I will post them on my blog, I promise. Um, and yeah, I went with my sister and my mum and um, my sister's friend Penelope, so we had a really good day. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to do an outfit of the day for you so you can see what I wore to this fashion show. So I did my hair up in a little top, messy top bun, which I might do a tutorial on if um, any of you are interested. Obviously I've got really curly hair, so dealing with my hair is different than dealing with a lot of other people's hair. But I'm sure there's someone out there who's got hair like me. And um, this would work on any kind of hair anyway, straight hair, wavy hair, um, frizzy hair like mine, you know, whatever. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you my outfit. I'm just going to rearrange the camera so I can make sure that it looks perfect for you. as the models from today but nonetheless I uh, showed willing and effort just now so you should feel very privileged for that um anyway so yeah I've got this top on which is from River Island actually most of the outfit is from River Island this top was um, $16.99 and this is actually part of my um, month long haul and it's just a little cute top and it ties up here it's like um I just thought it was cute and I've got it tucked in to this skirt, which is like one of those, I think they're called like paper bag skirts, um, which is also from River Island, which was just $34.99, which I thought was quite a good deal. So it's like down to the floor maxi skirt. Um, it's got the belt, which is already attached. Um, so obviously that's from River Island as well, and that's included in the price of the skirt. Um, next, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to show these to you without... Maybe I should just take one off. These wedges are my favourite purchase of this month. Um, look at them, look how high they are. They, these were um, £45 from Miss Selfridge and I'm absolutely chuffed with them because I had seen a pair of wedges on the River Island website which were £65. They did look beautiful but when I was thinking, contemplating parting with that much money, I then found these on the Miss Alfridge website. They've got a little tea bar sort of style going on, and I love the difference in the colour of um, this rope sort of colour and um, this material right here. It's like a wicker material almost. I just thought it was really cool. It's like a lot of different textures going on. Um, and quite classy with the T-bar style and the little cut-out print, so I was really happy with that. So those are the shoes that I've been wearing today, and they give me a fair seven inches. 
um, on my height, which was good because, you know, with all those beautiful models wandering around, um, it was uh, necessary for me to be a little bit taller than my standard 5'1". Um, I'm just trying to get the other shoe off, it's so uncomfortable now. Um, I painted my nails in this colour, which is actually another one of my haul products of the month. I'm not sure if you can really get the effect of that. It kind of looks black there, but it's it's a grey colour with kind of iridescent flecks, which I, I think is so cute, and it's a Barry M colour. Um, it's nail paint by Barry M in Dusky Mauve. Mauve? 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 <laughs> it's um, number 313, and that's what it looks like there. You can kind of see like the sheen off that. Um, and I think that this was uh, $2.99, I think that's right, um, and I got this one as well from Barry M, which is kind of like a purpley pinky colour, it's like, a, it's like a, it's like a hot pink, it's called raspberry, so it's that kind of colour but with an extra kind of metallic-y almost sheen to it in the pot and it looks really cute, it actually looks really cute with this colour when they're together on. Um, I, I was wearing like alternate, alternating each nail and I just thought that was adorable and that again was the same price so that's in raspberry number 273 so let me just confirm that that's how much it was so I don't want to be misquoting um, mis misquoting, mispricing it I don't know, what, there must be some sort of word out there for um, what I've done if I've told you the wrong price Okay, yeah, so it was two ninety nine. But I think that um, I got these on some sort of deal, and they were actually from Superdrug, not from Boots. Um, and I think that the deal was two pots for five pounds or two ninety nine each, which was actually amazing because I am um, in Boots, not not in Superdrug. I purchased them in Superdrug, but I got a free voucher to use in Superdrug in Boots. It's a voucher that you can use in Boots or Superdrug or anywhere. Um, and it was a £5 voucher and all you have to do to you get the voucher is um, to do a chlamydia test and obviously that's just easy to do, It's you do it yourself, it's no kind of embarrassment, anything like that. Um, plus it's good for people, you should always do a chlamydia test um, if you're offered it for free in like places like that. Um, I know they offer them in like nightclubs and stuff like that as well sometimes but um, the free gifts in nightclubs aren't usually as good as a whole five pounds off a high, any high street store, which is effectively what this was. Um, included in it was like the lights of River Island, HMV, um, New Look was part of it, Super Drug Boots, like it was just a really good deal. So anyway, after I'd finished uh, doing that test in Boots, um, which if you must know came back clear of course, um, I just happened to be looking around super drug and immediately had to spend this free five pounds that I had um, and like I said I spent it on those two colours so those are two more haul items next this is all part of a bit of a River Island spree that I went on I got this top which ties at the front again it's got Mickey and Minnie on there Minnie kissing Mickey isn't she cute and look Mickey's so happy um, and that was uh, $16.99 from River Island. Also, River Island don't actually have um, a student discount policy, which is a shame and it's very disappointing because they just should. But um, these, some of these items, are, they're quite reasonably priced anyway. Um, it's not like, it's, for example, sometimes in Topshop I find that things are overpriced um, for what they are. But at River Island, I don't think they are so much so. Well, apart from the shoes, obviously, £65 for a pair of wedges. That's quite a lot of money. Like, then I got this top from River Island too, which is just kind of a greeny colour. Like, it, People always say that this colour goes well with my skin tone and my hair colour. Um, so I thought I'd get that, and that was 9 99 So again, really reasonable. I have to stop folding things because it takes too long. Um, and I got this one, which is again the similar style tie at the front, but it's in the nautical print, uh, nautical type stripes, which again, obviously, I don't need to tell you, is a big trend um, for this summer. So 
I went and got that and I think that that was um, 9.99 as well so again very reasonable um, and I just bought them because I thought they would be really cute for walking around theme parks and stuff like that while I'm out there then I got these little cream espadrilles from River Island again um, and they were just £12.99 so I, I thought that was such a steal for these cute little shoes I mean I can't imagine that I can walk many miles in these shoes because they are quite bend, like a bendy and look you can already see wow no way oh my god I've literally, I'm sorry I just bent that and it or there's a crack in it already but well that's exactly what that's exactly my point so I'm gonna um, I'm not gonna return them because they are reasonably priced but I'm gonna have to stick some super glue or something in that crack and like push it back together again um, I mean yeah, this other one seems fine but like the point I was making is that they're quite bendy they're not a great solid sturdy shoe for going trekking up mountains or anything but then again I'm not a solid sturdy girl that's gonna go trekking up mountains that's fine um, anyway forget about that um, next is these little shorts that I got from Topshop they look like a kind of blue colour right there but they're actually kind of a really bright vibrant purple colour well like a lilac-y purple um, and these were just £10 from Topshop um, so there you go oh and there was a 20% discount in Topshop this week I, I know it's a bit late for most of you because it's now Sunday well yeah it is definitely too late as the shops will be closed because it is half past seven on a Sunday but this past week it was 20% off for students which was great um, so I bought those shorts and I bought these shorts as well which are the same style but in a kind of charcoal-y grey colour again they're just £10 as it turns out I mean I bought um oh my mum owes me money i've just remembered i bought a pair of jeans for my mum uh because i can use my student discount but she obviously can't in top shop so you know everyone does it it's fine i know it's a confession i have to make i use my discount for my mum and my sister as well um but so i bought these jeans for her and i think they were supposed to be 36 pounds originally and these shorts were supposed to be 10 pounds each um so that's like 56 pounds and then take 20% off, it's like, this is my maths, maths problems again, the point is, it's like, just over £10 should have been off, so it should have been £46, but when I got home, I kind of realised that the girl had forgot to put through one of the pairs of shorts, and so I only paid, I paid £36, that was it, for, um, the jeans and two pairs of shorts so I got two pairs of shorts for free effectively because the jeans were going to be £36 originally anyway so I'm quite happy with that I feel kind of bad though like I mean would you go back and tell the tell the girl like I mean I was home by the time I realized I'm not I didn't think stand there and think ha 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 she hasn't scanned them through um I didn't even notice because she removed the tag like the security tag and everything but she obviously made a bit of an error there never mind I guess it was just my lucky day, perhaps her unlucky day. I hope she didn't get in trouble with her manager. Um, anyway, lastly, I want to show you um, this little silk teddy that I got to sleep in. I think you can see there. Um, I got this from La Senza and it was £25. Um, La Senza do do a student discount, I think it's a 10% discount, which is great. And I love these lace teddies, they, the silk and lace teddies, because they remind me of like vintage um, sort of glamour. Like I can imagine some lady in a vintage, uh, like in an old Hollywood movie, kind of um, sitting down and drinking like a glass of champagne on her chaise, like or something, wearing one of these bad boys. So these have become my new obsession. I've got another one which I bought the month before, and I know that I'm going to buy at least two more before I go to Florida. Um, so everyone's going to have to get used to seeing me wandering around the place wearing one of these. I hope that my flatmates aren't particularly coy because um, I love them. Anyway, so that is pretty much my whole haul. Fascination.